Hey guys, we're back to working on the Metropolitan. And before we do, I wanted to say a couple things. One, thank you so much for watching these videos and especially the first one that we did. Uh, I was not expecting that at all. We're just everyday normal people and I figured I don't really have a lot of subscribers and I thought I'll put a video on and a few family will watch it and friends and I'll keep putting videos up and then maybe eventually at some point people will start watching them but that video got almost a thousand views in the first day and so YouTube is obviously working differently than it was when I started posting videos and they put the videos out to viewers a lot more and promote it more than they used to and that kind of blew my mind so just thank you so much for watching the video and leaving the comments and and uh, yeah joining in with us um, also I need to make a correction uh, a viewer commented that this is not an ash and he is absolutely correct um, and I knew that but in my head I've always known him as Nash and that's how a lot of people refer to him no matter what the year is and so uh, without even thinking that's what I labeled the video and have been calling the car <clears throat> but the truth is that Nash sold out at some point in the 50s uh, to I believe Hudson and then they built some and then um, Austin, I think it was Austin Motor Company, could be incorrect on that, uh, built some. And then American Motor Company also built some. So I believe this is an AMC uh, Metropolitan. So just wanted to correct that and get that straight. Want to make sure we have our facts straight. I'm sure I'll mess up a whole lot more. And uh, it's not a big deal. You feel free to correct me. Uh, in the comments on anything um, I love to learn about cars and learn uh, learn things in general so it's uh, really cool that people are interacting that way so thank you for that <clears throat> so now you see this how do I get there that's a brand new battery for this car so we're gonna throw that in and then we're gonna start doing some troubleshooting um, like I put in the last video, somebody has tinkered with this car and there are two ignitions in there for some reason. Um, the original ignition was an ignition and the light switch combo. It looks like some wires have been pulled off of there probably for the actual starter and put onto another ignition. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure. I was looking through my service manual and in there it showed the the ignition with fuses on the back side of it and I've looked at this one I didn't see fuses but I didn't look real close either so anyway we're gonna dig into that in this video and see if we can get this thing to turn over I have turned the car over with my remote starter switch um, but that's that's all I've done um, I oiled, it, oiled up the cylinders first, made sure those were good. Um, I'll probably pull the valve cover and just make sure everything's oiled up there. I don't want to turn this engine over too much without lubrication in there. Um, but I do want to get this thing to fire. I'm excited to do that. So got to get a little bit of wiring straightened out. And, uh, and then we can go from there. battery is back here underneath the back seat and these cars are a little wired wired a little differently than your cars nowadays um, the polarity is reversed and so this is a positive ground system so the battery goes in here 
the positive actually goes to the ground and the negative goes to the electrical system to the starter and everything so we'll pop this in Hopefully this fits. The battery I took out of here, this car sat for so long that the battery I took out of here was from August of 1971. So I didn't even turn that battery in for a core. I'm just keeping that as a souvenir. That battery is older than I am. Thought that was pretty cool. Oh yeah. That's perfect. We'll just nothing's on fire yet. That's awesome. That's that's great. No smoke. Not letting any smoke out of the stuff. All right. Headlights work. No blinkers. Ah, I was really hoping the radio would work. But we got headlights, so we're set. Everything's great. That's perfect. this job done let's give that a shot for now all right guys let me show you what we're dealing with here so under here where is it there it is we've got ignition second ignition and a push button start so you can see the wiring looks pretty decent but somebody has definitely messed around with it so the lights work. Check this out. You ready? Oh, where's it at? Huh? Under dash light works. So we're set there. That's perfect. Uh, what else? I guess that's it for now. I gotta. <clears throat> get my meter on this and see where power is coming in where power's got to go and all that good stuff so let's get into it <clears throat> so the key off I got power coming in right there. All right. And that goes into the wiring harness. Got power there too. I have the lights on. Oh, I have the lights on. So power there. <clears throat> that's it so that's our power coming in and then we've got power there now power there okay now we 
got power there. Power. Okay. So, but I have nothing on the push button. Nothing there. And I got 12 volts on this other ignition. The problem is, I don't have a key for this one. So, I may have to jump it. Or figure out... I don't have... Do it? I don't have an empty... Could I try to send power to the push button off of one of the hots for the lights and just combine it? I wonder. Hmm. If only I could get this other ignition. I'm going to see if I can find a key that will fit that thing and turn it over. And then we'll know a little bit more. <clears throat> nope. No way. Why is this key on here if it does nothing? Is this for doors or the trunk or what? Hmm. Hmm. Well, part of the problem is I was trying to think. Earlier I had said that my service manual showed fuses on the back of the ignition. Nah, not there. Here's what I was looking at. So I was looking at the ignition here, and I saw this, and I thought that was the back of the ignition for some reason. But that is actually in here, right there. Those fuses are good. So I just do not see a diagram in here for what's what on the back of the ignition so we'll figure it out
we have spark. Yes. It's not right. Uh, there is something wrong with that ignition, which makes sense why they put a second one in. Um, but right now, I've jumpered power to the coil, and we have spark. So that is awesome. I'm excited. Yes. All right, first attempt. Let's see what happens.
Well guys, we got it to fire. I am super pumped. I am so happy right now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and order a rebuild kit for the carburetor if I can find one. And probably an ignition so I can wire it up properly. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this thing running. Gotta show you guys this. Man, I completely forgot. I was gonna set a camera up back by the tailpipe. But that's what we got coming out of there. That may be part of the problem. Yep. Next time I'll set a camera up back here. We can see what else comes out. Hopefully there's not a lot in there. I feel like I cannot end this video without hearing this car run for at least a few seconds. We got it to fire, but I really want to hear it run at least just for a few seconds before I can end this video. So I'm going to clean the points. I'm going to see if I can fill the bowl of the carburetor with some fuel um, and see what we can do. I'd really like to see if this car will run for a few seconds after sitting for almost 50 years without doing too much work to it. I'm just really curious to find that out. So let's see what we can do. Well, the float works. So, throw this back on and see what happens. Claim to be a smart man, and I never plan to. And if I ever do pretend to be go ahead and set me straight on that one so a couple things I was doing some more research and a couple things I'll just show you <clears throat> so this definitely doesn't belong in this car somebody added this normally there would be a starter switch right here that would be operated by a cable going through the firewall to a pull knob in the dash in the car so this is not original so I've got to order an original starter switch this is pretty cool though this has been really helpful to have, have this right here where I can just remote you know turn the engine over from right here and see what's happening so that's been cool but I need to swap that out inside the car this huh the horn works <laughs> first time I tried that that's awesome um, this push button is not original this is where the pull knob should be for the starter switch this is original I do have a new one I want to pull this one out and just see if maybe I can figure it out and maybe fix it if there's anything wrong with it but I do have a new one if needed this is obviously not original and this is going to come out this is where the cigarette lighter would be and so that's what we got to fix there put that back to being a cigarette lighter so yeah just wanted to show that <clears throat> I 
I had no idea when I got into this car, you know, what's what. I've never worked on one, and so, yeah, I didn't know. Also, pretty impressed with this water temp gauge here. This little thing just clips on the bottom of the dash, and I don't know yet if these had water temp. They obviously didn't have a gauge, but did they have a dummy light? I don't know. But what's cool is that little gauge matches the font and color and everything of the speedometer pretty closely. I mean, it's a it's a great match. So hopefully that works and we can keep it in the car. Big horn for a tiny car. That's hilarious. Where is that thing? Where's the horn at? Where are you hiding? I have no idea. Is that it? Oh, look at this. Right there. Right there. Dual horns. That is so cool. I love it. There it is. There it is. Looks like that one was maybe rattling on the fender. Somebody put a little piece of hose there to keep it from hitting. Awesome stuff. Really loving this car. We did it. We took a car that had been sitting in a barn for longer than I've been alive, almost half a century, and with a minimal amount of work, we got this thing to run, technically. Let's pretend it was three seconds, okay? <clears throat> so, um, once again, thank you guys for watching the videos and coming along for the ride really appreciate it hope you enjoy the videos and if you enjoy the videos and you like what you see and you want to subscribe and give us a like that would be super cool but definitely you don't have to you can just watch the videos and enjoy them that's great too um, so plans now from here I'm gonna end this video here but for the next video We've got to rebuild the carburetor, um, work with the ignition. I, I'm less worried about the ignition and stuff than I am the car. I don't want to beat the starter up too much. Um, so I want to rebuild the car, carb and uh, see if we can get this thing to actually run for longer than the three seconds and uh, get it to warm up put some coolant in the radiator and see if it holds and what's going to happen there and 
just go from there. So that'll be coming up in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys.